Yo, what's up guys, it's Suraj from Tech Devoted and in today's video I want to talk to you about Android apps for your Sony camera. Yeah, you heard that right. Now I know most of you are confused or have no idea what I'm talking about. So for a little bit of background, this camera that I'm shooting with, the Sony A6300, in fact many of the other cameras that Sony makes in the Sony Alpha series, they support Android apps. Yeah, I know it's pretty freaking mind blowing. My mind was blown away too the first time I heard it. Now the catch here is that they only support Android apps that were made for gingerbread or older, which is like a really, really old version of Android. So that excludes majority of the current popular apps. But I did try some of the older apps, apps that were made for gingerbread. I, I tried Flappy Bird and a couple of other games, hashtag nostalgia. And they did run fine, they did work, but I could not really start a match. I guess it's because these apps were made for smartphones. Smartphones are touchscreen devices, whereas my camera does not have touchscreen. So no matter how many buttons I would click, I just could not start a match, I guess. It might work on a Sony A6500, I have a feeling it will. So if any of you do use an A6500, at the end of this video, try it out on your own and let me know how it goes. Now while looking for apps, I stumbled across a proper serious set of apps for your camera that will make your shooting experience all the more fun, all the more convenient. Uh, so I want to show you guys what those apps are and then I'll also show you how to install them. So if you want to install them on your Sony camera, you can do that. So uh, first I'll show you what each one of them does and then we'll do the installation part. So without wasting any more time, let's jump right into the list. So the first app is called Open Memories Tweak. Now this app lets you do a couple of things that most of us really wish Sony had given us an option to do. So firstly, you can disable the video recording limit. As many of you may know, this camera has a recording limit of 30 minutes straight out of the box, but enabling the disable recording limit option in the app will extend the recording time to well, pretty much as long as your battery or SD card lasts. The next life changing thing this app can do is disable the PAL slash NTSC warning you see every time you turn on the camera. Just uncheck the enable PAL slash NTSC selector and warning option and now you'll never ever see that stupid running on NTSC warning thing every time you turn on the camera. It's just super annoying. I was so happy to be able to get rid of it. There's a couple of other smaller things that this app does but I don't really use them honestly. The NTSC warning disabler alone makes this app so worth it for me. Now I don't know if you realize this but this camera doesn't have any time lapse modes built in and the time lapse app that Sony makes actually costs a bit of money. So here's a free and working alternative called, well, time lapse. So once you open the app, you'll see that you have all these different settings. You can set the time interval between two consecutive shots and how many shots you wanted to click. And the two time values below that respectively tell you how long the shooting would take and the final length of the time lapse for that particular frame rate, which you can also customize. Now bear in mind this app only creates photos and not an actual video so you still have to put it through your editing software to stitch the time lapse together. But here's a quick example that I made. The third app is called DOF Math. This app lets you calculate the hyperfocal distance which for those of you that don't know is the nearest focus distance at which the depth of field extends to infinity and the way hyperfocal distance works is everything from half of the hyperfocal distance to infinity is in focus. So I'm gonna give you an example to make it a little less complicated. If your hyperfocal distance is 28 meters, then everything at half the distance of 28 meters, which is 14 meters from your lens to infinity will be acceptably sharp. This is very useful for clicking landscapes. If you shoot a lot of landscape, you probably already know what hyperfocal distance is. Who am I even talking to? So you just dial in the relevant focal length and aperture values and the app calculates the hyperfocal distance for you. Now there are many hyperfocal distance apps on your phone and also charts that are available for free online. And those are probably way more convenient, but for, for the times that you forget to carry those, this app can really come clutch. Okay guys, so now I'm going to show you how to install those apps on your very own Sony camera. So step one, go onto your camera and set the USB connection type to MTP mode. Next, hop onto your computer, go into the link in the description and download the PMC8 GUI application. I'm on Mac, so .dmg is what I would download. If you're on Windows, get the .exe. Next, plug in your camera to your computer using the USB cable that was provided in the box. I do not recommend using any third-party cables. 
Once it's connected, turn it on and launch the PMCAG UI app that you just downloaded. Uh, like that. And now uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and do get camera info just to make sure that my camera is detected. It is detected. So now I'm gonna go to the install app part. And here's where you do the installation part. So uh, I showed you guys DOF math, open memories tweak and time lapse. There's many other apps here as well as you can see. I tried every single one on this list and honestly only the three apps that I showed you guys were appealing enough to me or they were the only ones that were working fine in other words. Now for the sake of this video I'm going to show you how to install uh, depth of field math but the same process applies to uh, all the other apps as well. And if you want to do an Android APK instead like I did for Flappy Bird, uh, you have to do select an APK and open the APK. You'll have to download the APK from an online third party site or something like that. I'll be sure to leave a link uh, from where you can get gingerbread APKs. So try out Flappy Bird, try out a couple of other games on your A6500 if you have one and let me know how it goes. But for this one, we're just going to be going with uh, depth of field math. So make sure it's selected and all you have to do is hit install selected APK or selected app and that will do its thing. Now, uh, I just want to take a moment and tell you guys that this is 100% safe, it will not break your camera. I've tried this on two different A6300s. In fact, this is a GitHub page and for those of you that don't know, GitHub is like a complete open source thing. I think you can find the code for this app if you want to, you can check it out, make sure everything is safe. So it's 100% safe, but still do it at your own risk. Don't blame me if anything goes wrong. I have tried it on a couple of cameras, it's worked fine. So it says task completed successfully. Now just go ahead and unplug your camera, check the application list of your camera and you should be able to see whichever app it is that you installed. So guys, that about wraps it up for this video. If you found this one helpful, give it a like. Uh, if you didn't, vote it down, let me know why you didn't like it. Uh, if you're new around here, consider subscribing. If you haven't already, follow me on Instagram for some fun BTS and sexy selfies. I'm also active on Twitter. I try to tweet funny things at times. And of course, as I said, this YouTube channel if you haven't yet subscribed, what are you even doing? Uh, while you're at it, hit that bell icon as well. It's been Suraj. Thanks so much for watching. Take it easy and stay devoted.